Welcome to Weekly Digest, where we highlight the works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. Government continues to fulfill its mandate of ensuring the needs of the population are met by constantly getting on the ground and directing and engaging citizens. On Saturday, Minister within the Office of the Prime Minister with Responsibility for Public Affairs, Kwame McCoy, visited the villages of Kokwani, Aichuni and Kumaka Mines in Region 10 to educate the residents on how they will benefit from the recently approved $1.146 trillion budget. Indeed, what we see around us today in Kokwani accounts for more than there was three years ago. Am I right? Yes. yes. I come to more than they want. And what can we say about all that is happening and has happened since then? Is that you have a government in place that has been making constant investment at making people's lives better. The task of progress, growth, and development of a country is a collective responsibility that should be shared by all. Underscored by Minister McCoy as he continued engagements with residents in the communities of Bagotville and Lagrange, Region 3, Sunday afternoon. It is not an affair for just the government as a party. It has got to be for government and people in Lagrange and people everywhere to be part of a partnership that moves this country forward, that move your community forward, that take us to that higher level. There are still many things for us to do. We haven't reached the ideal point. And for us to be able to move in the, at the pace and in the way and in the direction as a government and people, it means that we have to be in a solid partnership. In another outreach to the residents of the Kinderin and Zilot East Bank Essequibo, the minister announced that government understands the needs of the people and has been working to provide them. From to have been met, while new ones are now being looked at. What we get from your from the interaction with you are some of the most incisive inputs in crafting and designing programs for your community. Prime Minister Brigadier Mark Phillips is optimistic about his office winning this year's Mashramani competition as the various ministries gear up to hit the road to display their achievements in the most cultural way possible. During the ministry's band launch on Friday in the office's compound, the Prime Minister encouraged everyone to stand in unity and get on board with the Republic Day celebrations. Come March Day, we will have the best costume. Again, we will win. All of us will be there, marching and keeping with the team, celebrating our peoples and our prosperity. So we celebrated all our people, and now we have something else to celebrate. Not poverty, prosperity. Residents and farmers of Wakenam in Region 3 were updated about the plethora of initiatives they will be benefiting from this year. This clarity was provided by Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa during a recent community outreach at Isikwebo Islands. These are money that are, um, we are making to the people of this country, giving them more disposable income. The spending power is increasing. And that's the way a good, responsible government works to ensure that you bring benefit to the people of our country. Guyana is blossoming into one of the most self-sufficient countries as the 2024 to pave the way for a series of sustainable developmental projects. This was also asserted by Minister Mustafa during another community outreach to Region 6. There are lots of opportunities from 2020 to now. We have seen our lives transform and there are more transformation to come. This period is a heavy lifting period. We are building an economy from, um, uh, for 2030 and beyond. So what we are doing now, we are building the economy, we are moving up to in, improve the infrastructure, the industry, the social services, the institution. Guyana is being built on the foundation of unity as budget 2024 catered by Minister of Amerindian Affairs Pauline Sukai and Minister within the Office of the Prime Minister with Responsibility for Public Affairs Kwame McCoy on Monday. 
The ministers were speaking during an outreach to the residents in various sections of La Parfait Harmony. At this point in time, a critical ingredient for Guyana to experience real development is to build on the foundation of our diversity, is to build on the foundation of unity, and to build on the foundation of developing a strong nation. This is part of government's nationwide community engagement. President already committed that before his term finished, University of Guyana will be free. He has already moved to deal with the loans outstanding by people. The government will write that off. That's what will happen this year. And next year, you go to free university. So when you're talking about what a government is doing, you don't pay attention only to salaries. You have to pay attention to all wrong benefits that the government is giving to people. Minister Hamilton noted the importance of the training as the country develops. Occupation, safety and health, which is to concern all of us as citizens. Guyana, OSH, OSH problem, as I see it, is not an employer, an employee issue only. It's a national issue. It's a national crisis that all of us, we have to work together to resolve. It's a cultural problem. If we do more, we expose employees and employers themselves to hazards of work. For decades, the tallest building we had in this country with the Pegasus Hotel. Today, people are talking about 14 and 20 stories building to build. So we go higher, unless we pay attention to safety and health, people will die. Approximately 361 residents of Kamana and Sand have potable water following the commissioning of two water supply systems totaling $84 million. The $48 million system in Kamano, while the $36 million system in Sandhill, will provide first-time access to 129 persons. Last year, last year, we invested in Region 8 another $348 million for five new wells source systems across the region. So in other words, from 2020, by the time we finish in 2023, we invested over $521 million and moved the percentage of coverage from 55% to 87% in that short period. On an aggressive approach to boost treated water coverage on the coast and 100% in the hinterland regions by the year 2025. Along this line, approximately 550 residents of Kapui Mission to drink in water, following the commissioning of a new $11 million water supply system. This well that we drilled in this community that is now supplying 96% of this community with portable water, we drilled 75 wells. 75 wells in three years. This year, 2024, with the budget that was just passed, we will drill 40 new wells in our Marindian communities across the country. During a walkabout in a community in the Ministry of Housing and Water, Susan Rodriguez, who expressed satisfaction with the overall transformation of the area, saving dollars, was allocated to upgrade the area. We can see the progress. This, this area does not look like it originated as a squatting area. And we see that the concrete roads have been completed. We have concrete bridges in the area. About 254 residents of Itabak in the North Pakaraimas Region 8 now have access to drinkable water for the first time. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Kroll, who spearheaded the commission and ceremony, was accompanied by GWI's Hinterland Services Director, Ramchand Jailal. The coverage in Region 8, where communities were accessing potable water, and let's just use Region 8, was only at... 
55%. Just over half of Region 8 was accessing potable water, including the community of Itabak. By the end of last year, we were at 87% coverage in region number eight, including the community of Itabak. Some 150 families of region five will soon be able to construct their houses, an experiment housing scheme as they signed their agreements of sale to process their land titles. The beneficiaries were issued residential house lots in the housing area. Experiment housing scheme has over 559 lots. When you look at the experiment, Borma, Shieldstone, Baltia, we have $4 billion investment in infrastructure for the development of those areas. And counting, I have not added the community roads and that are being done. That's another $3 billion. On Saturday morning, several ministers participated in the National Enhancement Exercise, which aims to promote a cleaner and greener Guyana. Along the Kingston Seawall, a team was led by Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs, Anil Nandlal, and Minister of Local Government and Regional Development, Sonia Parag. We don't necessarily need to resort to laws to ensure that the place is clean. Every human being, every decent, civilized human being ought to appreciate their obligation, moral obligation, to ensure that their environment is clean. Moreover, with the rapid pace at which the country is moving, Minister Parag noted that it has always been the government's objective to lead a safe and secure nation. So we have several uh, categories of persons on board and the objective was always to ensure that we maintain a hygienic and clean environment because as you know we are moving towards a climate uh, secure country and energy secure country and we want to be able to ensure that our surroundings are clean at all times but it was also and the objective was also to create a wave across the country where people would take it upon their own uh, to clean their surrounding environment and I think that's been happening because the national cleanup is not it has moved from the central area of Georgetown to across the country in all different regions. It's important because we need to be living in a very um, sanitized and clean environment. In addition to that, Guyana is promoting tourism, Guyana is encouraging investors and our country has to step up to the transition that is taking place. Um, citizens, for example, need to dispose of garbage in, in a proper way. Um, we know the city still has problems in the challenge of garbage collection in a timely manner and so exercises like these will encourage um, businesses, including I think residents, um, to ensure that we try to keep our country clean. It's leading from the front too. This brings us to the end of this edition of Weekly Digest.